Sure as what as heck is. Probably just a bluegill though. You got one? Large mouth? Cool. Yeah, that's a big one, man. That's he want me to get the dip. Think just to be safe. Uh, I can dip net it, man. I'm right here. That's a good two pounder or bigger. That's three pounds. Oh, it's hard. Oh, all right, guys. First real blood. Boy, we have been rarely patient. These fish are just stubborn today. Told you there's some nice bass in here, though. Yeah, man, it was right there. God, they just, just haven't something. been biting. I think there something's wrong because, like I said, I always see stuff right here just sitting here. It's crazy, like schools of shad, and that's a decent largemouth. Yeah, he got it wrapped in the net a little bit. He's about three pounds, at least two and a half. I'd say he goes damn near three, though. All right, guys, he got him on a black and blue bearded jig. And right below this culvert. Yeah, he's dang near, I'd say he's two and a half at least. Decent. At least something finally. Man, he's beating me now, guys. He's been using a lure for, oh, we've been here, what, an hour and a half with nothing. I've caught three little bluegill smaller than my hand oh shit oh god it see at least these don't get hung in the net it's a good lure choice for here obviously it's a pretty decent large mouth he got here guys i'll get a good picture of you too if i can send to you later because i didn't really get one yet he's a good sized bass for in here anyway that James guy, he swears that there's five pounders in here. I wouldn't doubt it. If you got that, I'm sure there is. So they are, they're setting in here. They're just, maybe it's just the time of the day. It's 5.30 though. Maybe they're getting ready to pick up. You finally got my first fish worth mentioning. Virgil got his nice bass and I finally got a little seven inch bluegill anyway. They were all small till right now. That's bigger than my hand. He's not bad. I'll take them like that. I don't mind these. Big enough to eat. Oh yeah, nice male. Yes, indeed. Maybe there's another one sitting there. That's a weird place for him to be. I wouldn't have thought that shallow. I could almost... My split shot was setting on the top of the water when I held the worm down. Look how deep. So it's only really like seven, eight inches. God. I knew right away when he bit it was big because he fought different. I've yet to hook a gar on a top water. I guess it can happen, but it's hard. Really damn hard. Oh, there you go, man. All right, Virgil just caught one on the whopper plopper. Can't tell if it's a spotted or a large mouth. That's a large mouth. You ended up doing all right, man. I just lost my crankbait a few minutes ago. And we, he had a few snaps on that thing. We thought it was just a gar. Apparently not. There's a little evening bite, I guess. Like from before? Yeah. Oh. He's been caught already. Oh, dang. Well, no photo there. <laughs> dang. Big. It just didn't jump like a gar would.
at all. I don't know what to think of that one. It was loud. Yeah. Oh, man. That's in a bad spot. Is that another plopper? Got one. Oh yeah. <clears throat> All right guys, first fish. A little large mouth, about half pound. Look. By the way, this is our first time here guys. And we didn't know, but you got to have the canoe pretty much to fish it successfully. You got to have the canoe. It's very hard to fish. We'll end up just using worms here in a minute because it's really not many places you can stand at all. All right, look, large mouth, and boy, this water is very warm. <sighs> Calm down, buddy. All right. Oh, you got a red ear? Decent? All right, new species for this place. Wilma got a red ear. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're over in the creek. God, there's a snake skin right there. God. That's not bad. Yeah, red ear, sure is. See, I told you there's a creek. Swallowed a hook. Well, this is why I haven't been catching fish. I should have been in here. Yeah, you'll have to come over. All right, well, we got a red ear. That's two bluegill, one red ear, and a bass. And we know there's carp, buffalo, and gar. And my friend says there's crappie. So it looks like this thing has a little bit of everything. There we go. Another nice red ear. No, mine. He's hand sized. All right, guys, I got me a nice, pretty decent shell cracker. I'm not gonna complain. It's not big, but it's not tiny. He's about six, six inches. It's not horrible. Yeah. They're not as big as Ripley County, though. Definitely no eight yet. Smaller size, kind of like the ones in the ditch. Channel cat. Alright guys, we are officially okay. Now we know there's bluegill, red ear, channel cats, largemouth, buffalo, carp, gar, and crappie. Talk about a buffet of species in this lake, my gosh. I knew there was would be bullheads for sure. I wasn't sure about channels, but sure enough. He's a little guy, but we know they're in there. This is just an experiment to see how this place is. And Ouch! Oh, he fanned me bad. Oh, ow! Oh, he got me big time. What we've learned about this place, though, is you got to have the canoe to fish successfully. You don't need the motor, just a paddle. But you got to launch that canoe in here because there's nowhere to stand.
Gosh. I don't know what is it. I don't know either. Big bluegill, I think. Oh, red God. ear. It's a big. That's a big red oh ear. Mm, now they're getting better. <laughs> yeah. There's a big one. That's not bad at all. It's a nice red ear, guys. Yeah, that's decent. Yes. This is a big one. <laughs> he was on there the whole time and I didn't know. <laughs> Double red ears, guys. Mine is big than me. Yeah. <laughs> Mine's a female, yours is a male. It's got the different design. It's really fat. That the, both of these ain't bad. Yeah. Man. Hey. All right. They're keepers, then. I think it's small. Did you do it again? Yep. <laughs> My God. Oh yeah, hold it up for us. Worth showing him. That's a decent one. He's dang near eight inches. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Not bad. I can't catch them right here. I don't think they like it right here. All right, guys. Today I am fishing a farm pond that I got permission to try out. It's very sad that I can't get my canoe back here. You got to walk about a quarter mile through fields of weeds to even get to it. Uh, boy, a kayak would be handy. It's not going to be an easy lake to fish the banks. You can just poke out in little spots and here and there, and that's it. I'm going to start off with a spinnerbait today, guys. fish guys all right hey it has fish it's a large mouth about a half pound all right the mystery is solved it has bass and bluegill now we know on the booyah spinner bait not a big guy but if there's small ones in here there's big ones and he looks pretty healthy it don't look scrawny or nothing it looks pretty average for his size there may be hope there we go all right fish number two guys looks like we're about the same as the first one half pound i hope there's some bigger ones in here than this i mean they look healthy so there's gotta be that's a healthy looking bass He's a little tiny bit bigger, not much. I mean, you can tell they're not. I mean, he's kind of thin, but he looks pretty average. That's two fish, guys, and one miss earlier. Oh, I got something nice here, guys. My nicest fish of the day, without a doubt. I don't know what this is. It's big. I think I got a catfish. It's it's a channel cat, I do believe. Yep. No, it's a big old bass. Guys, I wasn't catching nothing on the spinner bait. Nothing on worms. Finally, I put a little two-inch curly tail in here and got a big old bass, man. 
I got eight pound line. I got to be careful with him. He's a good three pounder. Oh my goodness. No, he's about two and a half. Second cast on this thing, man. Wow. So there are. My theory was wrong. There is some okay fish in there. They just weren't wanting a spinner bait. He's two and a half. Got him on a Berkeley Fire Tiger Grub, two inch, with a quarter ounce jig head. Oh my. Oh God. Now that ain't bad at all, guys. Yeah. I guess my theory was wrong. What a shock. What a shock, man. I am totally impressed now. That really caught me off guard after all those little tiny perch I caught and the two tiny bass I caught on the spinner bait. So see, I thought I knew what I was talking about and I was clueless. I was wrong, for sure wrong. bass about the same as the first two I caught exact same I haven't quite figured out this lake yet what I think about it but then again I did catch one that was dang near three pounds there just is a lot of small fish it seems like but it can't be that bad 